Leviathan here. When people reminisce about the past, they tend to over glorify it. However, today we are not going to do that as I take you back to my high school years to share what my unglorified experience was like. So let's go for a cruise. Let's go back to high school where you have your three main groups. Your cool, popular kids, your athletic jocks, and your rebels. So where did I fit in? Well, I was too shy and introverted to be part of the cool, popular kids. I was too weak and scrawny to be part of the athletic jocks, and I was way too straight edge to be part of the rebel group. So where did I fit in? Well, let me just describe to you the type of person I was back in high school. I was very academically inclined. I had a very strong passion for music and musical instruments. In fact, I was part of my own band called Son of Jor-El. I was part of the chess club and I had a very strong interest for comic books and superheroes. That being said, I also didn't have that many friends. In fact, I had none. So I technically wasn't really part of any sort of group. So what was I in high school? Well, it should be pretty obvious. And the words that were typically used to describe me was geek, dork, nerd, and of course, loser. <laughs> so you're probably wondering, has Leviathan changed from his high school days to where he is right now? Absolutely not. I am the exact same person with a few minor differences. One of which is the tattoo I have of my favorite superhero on my back. Other than that, I'm the exact same person. However, there is something that has changed, and that is my character. For me, my focus in life has always been developing and growing that character. And what does this character mean? Well, to me, it's a very broad definition. It captures everything from your passions, your hobbies, your interactions, your experiences, your love, your heartbreak, your sorrow, your happiness, your humor, your morals, your ethics. The list is endless. And to me, that's been the one thing that I've been trying to develop my entire life. And that's really what motivates me. I don't define myself based on the car that I drive or the size of my muscles, but the development and growth of my character, because that's something I'm always striving to improve. My focus in life has always been identifying my weaknesses and my flaws to try and grow and develop as a person and really grow out my character because in the end of the day, that's something I will always have and it's something that could never be taken away from me. I'm going to end with a quote from Bruce Lee. Knowledge can give you power, but character, respect. Thanks for watching. Until next time.